Sebastian. Yeah, you can, um, if you want to make a, a, a ghee lamp, so you get um, cotton balls, like, like just cotton balls, right? And then you tease out, tease out the wick by placing, by putting some, sesame oil is actually good to, to tease it out, but you can use the ghee to, to tease, to tease out the, the wick. And then you put a teaspoon or whatever, you know, into the, into the pan and uh, heat it up and it becomes oil. And then you dip, you dip this into the oil and it comes out like this, you see? And then you, if you put that in the freezer, it'll fr it'll harden pretty quickly within 10, 15, 20 minutes even. And then you can then set it aflame. Let me see here. If I can do this with one hand, because I've only got, I'm holding the camera with the other hand. So here we go. So that's pretty good. And then ideally, if you want to put it into a salt lamp, the, the, um, I use the tweezers to, to navigate it in there so it doesn't fall over, right? And then in a couple of, in a minute or two, that'll be just, blasting away and it's a very interesting flame so this is the tweezers I use um, and then the thing about using the ghee and the salt lamp the Himalayan salt lamp is that there's a chemical reaction between the ghee and the salt which uh, according to the Vedic uh, um knowledge is uh anti you know anti antiviral it, it, it and, and anti negative you know influences including emf so you can, if you do this twice a day once in the morning once in the evening especially if you have it in your bedroom before you go to bed and you needn't worry about this it's quite safe so I learned that from my Ayurvedic doctor <laughs> a few years ago. It's amazing, actually. Beautiful. Um, it's a beautiful lamp.